it is another thing for you to have a transition body it is another thing to get things that would you know suit your body and just set social media on fire wow wow is all i can say i mean now tell me argue with me that this person does not deserve to be my fashion icon for today and yola batmos is looking really beautiful <music> Hi guys, it's the Vibe Queen Omobola Val, and yes, you're tuned in to Afrobeat Global TV. Guys, I sang that song because somebody is busy causing commotion everywhere right now. Now, the twist is she's not an Afrobeat artist, she's not a musician. Although she rolls with musicians, like she's Davido's party, she is a friend to almost all the musicians and almost all the major celebrities. But she is a celebrity too and i am talking about no other than any bad well that's what some of us call her but she's popularly known as eniola badmos now guys on the 7th of september happens to be eniola badmos's birthday and guess what instagram has been on fire well because she's been dropping hot pictures and that brings us to the discussion you know i mentioned earlier that i don't know if it is a new body that is making me just drool over these pictures and looks or it is because eniola badmos herself has been a fashionista from the get-go okay guys let's do a quick one on you know the transition from where Eniola Badmos used to be and where she is now. Now, remember that there was a particular time that the trolls were really coming for Eniola Badmos' body, saying she's too big, saying all sorts, and this was getting to her. Well, but if you actually know some things about Eniola Badmos, you would know that the trolls were being unfair with her. Now, Eniola Badmos is known to be the CEO of Any Bad TV, and most especially, she's known to be a particular individual who is particular about the movement on asthma. And you know, there were several videos where Eniola would come and probably cry in the videos and say people are insulting her, not knowing that you know she's facing a lot dealing with her uh, stature and the stature wasn't really helping you know people felt like she was probably your best and all of that and you know she was actually struggling with a lot and that's why i tell people that don't judge people you never know who what people are dealing with in inside of them because you see them all glammed up all beautiful you start trolling them online or because they are celebrities and she was actually battling this now there was also a time where you know, people wear, wear this um, issue on weight loss gain, weight, weight loss thing, weight loss products and all of that was trending. You know, when it was really new in the market and people were advertising a lot of weight loss products. And Eniola Badmos actually made a statement that went really viral. And she actually called a particular weight loss product and said, if you people know that this is your product, eh, it's sure for una then you people should come and use me as a specimen. Not that you people will go and get models that have fit body already and you'll be saying eh, they should be advertising that they are using weight loss products and all of that. Now, so many Nigerians have been wondering if this particular weight loss company, because they actually took up the challenge, if this particular weight loss company is responsible for Eniola Badmus's transition from the old body to the new body goals. Now, well, I can't say, but all we know is that Eniola Badmus now has a banging body. Now, this is in no way body shaming, you know, the plus size individuals. They are very great with their body, but it all depends on comfortability. And I feel that Eniola Badmus is more comfortable now with her body. If you're a plus size and you're comfortable in your own skin, in your own size, well, there's no big deal. And if you are a smallie like myself, I mean, if you're comfortable in your, you don't need to do all the surgeries and all of that. Now, guys, let's go into the real deal of today's episode. Now, she is my fashionista because it is another thing for you to have a transition body. It is another thing to get things 
that would you know suit your body and just set social media on fire now eniola badmos it just feels when i see her pictures now it just makes me feel like oh my, this lady has been waiting for this time and she's like you people that 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 were all coming after me it is over for you all because what i am yet to show you pepe now guys well like i said earlier 7th of september is her birthday and she's been you know dumping on a page lovely pictures now guys let's take a look at some of these amazing pictures and let's also take a look at the before pictures from eniola badmos and the now pictures of eniola badmos we'll be right back guys stay tuned <laughs> wow is all i can see i mean now tell me argue with me that this person does not deserve to be my fashion icon for today eniola batmos is looking really beautiful i mean our glam team is doing wonders and she's you know she's carrying this new stature this new look with all poise and i am loving it now after seeing all of that i'm just going to briefly talk about five of my favorite looks currently of Eniola Badmos. Now this first one is, you know, from our birthday photo shoot, of course. I love that it's giving me the um, the schoolgirl vibes, the student vibe, high school vibe. I love it. And I love the Bintu or Binta hairstyle. I mean, you know what we call when you pack your, your hair into two places and, you know, just pack it up like um, a ponytail or something. I mean, most people would say it's Binta. Binta goes to school and all of that, but it suits our face perfectly. She looks really beautiful. Now, another one is going to be this one in shorts. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Azine, because people are yet to understand what Eniola Badmos has done to her body. But whatever she did, I am loving it. While some people are saying, well, it could be as a result of the products given to her by the Wits um, Loss Company or brand. And some people are saying she probably did like an operation or something. But guys, I'm thinking in my head, if a surgery was done, it means that some part of her body, like they had to take off fat from some part of her body, right? But I mean, here is Eniola rocking shorts and looking really gorgeous so where did the surgery happen because she used to have really thick ties the, the ties are really still thick but you know if it was an operation or a surgery i mean we would see the scars but eniola is here flaunting her skin to you all telling you people that you people cannot know it's a mystery that you people cannot find out about well she's looking so beautiful so i love it now the next look for me is going to be this this is giving me like the cardi feel it's just that eniola is not putting on you know something really exposing like maybe exposing her boobs and all of that but she's looking really hot i i think this is the first picture i saw of eniola badmos and i was like oh my, is this eniola badmos and this picture was actually taken at an event that happened abroad so it didn't like i didn't really it didn't click in my head that this is eniola badmos until you know our pictures started circulating on social media saying is this eniola badmos but she really looks beautiful now the next picture for me is going to be this I love the colors. I love the blend of brown and and um, cotton brown and um, you know this nude look. I totally love it and I love the slits. Hey, it is a picture that in my head, you know, I'm picturing Eniola as an actress now and seeing her rendering her lines. It's a picture strutting and saying "Ek Egba." <laughs> okay, guys. Um, the next look for me is going to be this one. This is also uh, from my birthday shoot. This is a long dress and I am totally loving it. I am loving the glitters and all of that. Well, I know that you've seen some of the pictures, the one of her in, in um, blazer tops and all of that, you know, during the break, the commercial we had to showcase a before and after. But guys, I mean, I am super, super happy for Inyola Badmos and I am so proud of her. 
now this is actually an encouragement to other people who are not really satisfied about how they look you can actually work on it maybe you know you want to add some flesh you can work on it and maybe you want to actually reduce weight you can use the gym you can do all of that i'm not talking about people that go to the gym to just you know showcase their fancy gym wears and all of that it just it is just an encouragement to all of us that you know what whatever you want to achieve you can go for it you will definitely achieve it if you're determined enough well happy birthday to Eniola bad boss from the vibe queen and guys thank you so much for tuning in please if you enjoyed this episode and if you're a fan of any bad please like this video drop a comment subscribe to our youtube channel if you've not and follow us on our social media platforms at afrobeat global and yes you can follow the vibe queen on our social media platforms on instagram omobola adigo underscore and on other platforms at omobola underscore bio till we meet again guys it's the vibe queen signing out and you know what i always say i love you goodbye